All right, let's take a look at how to install a Linux-based operating system onto a USB flash drive using UNET Bootin. And by the way, you may hear some static in the background. It's coming from my very comfortable mono mic. It only happens in Linux and not Windows, and I'm not sure why. But let us continue. First of all, go to the Ubuntu Software Center and make sure you have the software piece of software called UNET Bootin. And you can just do a search here in the search bar. Type in UNET. Install that first. I already have. I have already plugged in my USB flash drive and it's labeled new volume. All right, go to the dash. UNET, type in that, the UNET button. Password. All right, now I need the ISO file, so I will go click image. I need to get the ISO file. Computer, root, home, toss today. And I need to go to the desktop. There it is, Zorn OS 6. I just downloaded this and I will be installing this onto a flash drive and then do a review. Click open. Okay, so I have everything I need here. Make sure you have a large enough uh, flash drive to fit the ISO file. Click OK. And then we wait. Make sure that your flash drive is clean, meaning that there is nothing else on it, so you will need to format it, wipe it, and then you should be good to go. I recommend at the bare minimum a 2 gigabyte uh, flash drive at least, if not more. They are relatively cheap nowadays. You can see here at the bottom it says extracted 9 of 21 files. This shouldn't take that long. I am running a uh, dual core system here. Now I know that many of you have been waiting for the next released release of Zorn. OS since really last year and I will be taking a look at this very shortly also Linux Mint 13 was just released I will be taking a look at that also an in-depth look I have that one installed on my uh, old laptop ThinkPad ThinkPads are great All right, 42%. We're about halfway there almost. Oh, I had to reinstall uh, Ubuntu. I'm running Ubuntu 12.04 here. I installed the ATI proprietary drivers and it just didn't work for me. So let's go to the system monitor while we are waiting. Eh, not bad, 700 megabytes of RAM for running 12 Ubuntu 12.04 with the 3D stuff. Still less than Windows. Alright, this should be almost done here. Extracting and copying files. So what do you guys like best? Linux Mint, Ubuntu, Zorin, or none of the above? By the way, the next uh, Linux A-Team has been recorded, and I will uh, finish editing and upload it probably this weekend, Memorial Day weekend. We had on the show... Infinitely Galactic, who else? We had Spatry and Sisset Min Girl. Yeah, all the way from the West Coast. We were talking and uh, Sisset Min Girl SAG, so I thought to myself, hmm, SAG, how about Super Awesome Girl? Ha ha ha.
Okay, let me uh, pause the video and I will be right back when this is done. Okay, UNET Ubuntu has finished installing the Linux-based operating system onto the flash drive. Of course, in this case, Zorn OS 6 for further review from me. Now you have two options. After rebooting, select the USB option in the BIOS boot menu. Reboot now. And you have an uh, option, an option of reboot now or exit. I will not reboot now. I will just click exit. Go to my new volume flash drive, right click, safely remove, and I will do this later. And that's it. That's how you can install a Linux-based operating system onto a USB flash drive using UNET Bootin. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to check the rest of my videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Any comments and questions, let me know. And as always, I will catch you guys sometime in your Linux future. Ciao.